Dunkirk, Darkest Hour, Longest Day, Beats Per Minute. Beats Per Minute is the first gay war movie, or should I say war epic. It's not a war many people would consider to be of great importance, but for the people involved in the war against AIDS in the 80s and 90s, it was a matter of life and death. This new film, Beats Per Minute, won six Césars, they're the French Oscars. It should have been nominated for a Best Foreign Film Oscar, but for a technicality, it was excluded. But that doesn't matter. People are going to see this film. It is really a spectacle. It's a spectacle of intelligence because we're seeing people under the age of 25 fighting against time, fighting against the time before they will die, which is why it's called beats per minute. 120 beats per minute is the meaning of life because either you're alive or you're dead. The young people in this film are intelligent, they're urgent, they're witty, and above all, they're sexy. Yes, this is a gay film about gay men having sex. There's no uh, worrying about whether they're gay or not. There's nothing about running a farm in the middle of remote Yorkshire Dales. This is fully a gay men's film. Not that it excludes women, not that it excludes trans people. They are in it among the 20, 30, 50 characters who populate this film, which runs for 142 minutes, but personally I found every single minute packed with dramatic dynamite. This is a must-see film for a number of reasons. One, it's a historical film, recent history, early 90s, Paris, act up. But it's also a film about strategy. It's a film about process. It's a film about how people get things done in impossible situations, just like Churchill in Darkest Hour. The difference with Beats Per Minute is there are 20 Churchills, there are 30 Churchills, there are 30 people who are fighting seemingly impossible odds, mainly because of the pharmaceutical companies not uh, putting the drugs on the market that are needed so desperately, so urgently to keep people alive. They're also fighting against prejudice and they're fighting against, of course, their own personal circumstances which involve their egos, their sexuality, and the fact that many of them, of course, are ill in different stages of disintegration. This, to me, is one of the great French films. I would put it very, very highly on a scale of a film like Z, for example, that great political film of the late 60s. This is a film that manages to mix the political and the personal to brilliant effect. All I can say is see it, see it, see it, and like me, see it again.